plumbing. How does the plumbing work? So we're going to whiteboard this guy too uh, and talk about plumbing real quick. So in order to live in a tiny house, you're going to need some water, right? You got to have water to live, to cook, um, to clean. So water is very important, absolutely important, right? So how are you going to get that water in there? So you're going to have your house and you're going to have uh, on the outside, you're going to either hook into a well, which is from the ground, and you're going to plug that into, or you're going to hook from the city water line into the house somehow, okay? So here's the house, right? So that's going to come connect from the outside. It could connect from the bottom or the side. There's also a way that you can get this where you just dump in a jug of water. Maybe you're going to dump in water. If you're going to be completely off the grid, you're going to have to carry your water in and this can go to a tank. A lot of times there's a, a tank in tiny houses for fresh water, uh, fresh, fresh water tank. Okay, so the water comes in from a well, from the city, city water, or you're gonna dump it in. It doesn't have to have a tank, but oftentimes there is some kind of a small tank at least for some water. From here, uh, you are gonna have a sink you're going to have probably a shower and maybe a bathroom sink. So there's a sink here and a bathroom sink and a shower stall, potentially. Maybe you'll have a washer and dryer unit in there as well. So the water comes in and it tees off right away. So then you have cold water and then this one is going to go from the cold water straight to a hot water tank or a hot water heater or a water heater for the hot water. So your water comes in, and maybe that's from your you know, a tank or straight from the, the hose. This splits off, and one goes into the water heater. So this is going to heat your water, and then that comes out hot. So this is cold in and hot out, and then this one is cold through the rest of the house. And this is going to feed into your sink, and this is going to feed into your bathroom sink. It's going to feed into your washer. This is going to feed into your shower. And then from the hot, this is going to come back around and then run parallel and then feed all those same things if they need it. Washing machine only needs a cold, so we don't need that. But your shower needs a hot and cold, your sink needs a hot and cold, and the sink needs a hot and cold as well. So that's basically how that works. Um, it's, it's pretty simple as far as water in. Um, you get it from the well, you get it from a, a hose. This is gonna, if you're gonna, gonna be in uh, colder climates, you're gonna want an insulated or heated hose or this is going to be insulated. Uh, if you if you already know where your tiny house is going to park, you might design this so your water inlet is below, and then you can put a skirt around this and then insulate this, so then that doesn't freeze up. That's a very good idea to to have it below below deck underneath there somewhere. I think that's a that's a really good point to um, to ensure if you know where you're going to park it. But a lot of times it's just going to be on an exterior wall. So that's water uh, in. I don't know if you have any questions. There's a lot of questions about hot water or water heaters. If it's if it's a hot water heater, it's already hot, so it's just a water heater. A lot of questions about water heaters. Um, which is the best one? And there's a couple. I'll do a different video for that. So that's water in, and then now we have water out. So there's wastewater. So your sink is going to waste water. Your sink here is going to waste water. Your shower is going to have waste water. Uh, your washing machine, uh, if you have one, is going to have waste water. And those are going to be, there's a couple of different ways you can do that really. So this is going to come out, so you're going to have plumbing, your waste pipe here, your waste pipe here, your waste pipe here, and then your waste pipe there. And you can plumb this all um, within the warm wall or, or on the bottom. So you're going to plumb that down over here and catch up all this stuff. And then there's going to be a storage tank mounted in there, so then that all goes into that storage tank. This is called gray water. Uh, when you wash your hands, do your clothes, wash your body, um, and any of that kind of stuff is just going to be gray water. Black water is if you're going to use a toilet and you do your business at number two. That's going to be black water. Uh, and I'm going to do a, a video about these two. Maybe I should just put that in this one. Uh, maybe I'll put it in this one. So gray water is basically uh, just hand washing and washing things off and that can go into one tank. If you have black water, that's gotta go, or that's gonna go, it's gonna be best to go in a separate tank because gray water, you can just dump this out onto uh, the lawn. This can be dumped into um, 
you know, a collection tank that's going to filter it down through the ground. Uh, basically, it's really easy to get rid of gray water, and black water is a little bit harder to deal with. So you're going to have to put that into a collection tank and then have somebody pump this out. This has got to go into a septic system, which could be potentially very expensive. Um, and those are kind of the two ways to go with that. That's why most people go with a composting toilet because that takes care of this black water situation. They kind of get rid of the black water um, problem because it's that's the issue. Um, even urine, urine can go into a gray water system, so then that can still be dumped out onto the ground or a gravel bed uh, per the area that you are. Not everybody, not every area lets you do that, so you'll have to check with your local ordinances if you are on the up and up, but you know, peeing in the woods or anything like that is fine. And as long as you're using organic um, soaps, biodegradable soaps, um, that poses no problem too. But if you're using a heav heavily detergent soap or something that's not biodegradable, you should not ever dump that out. It should go get treated through a, through a facility. So then you're going to be dealing with, um, you know, either a septic tank or the, the city water s system. With, with, um, so always use organic soaps, uh, things to wash yourself off. And biodegradable so you can dump that out that's that's that gray water black water uh that's pretty easy if you have any questions about that let me know but that's plumbing p-l-u-m-b-i-n-g plumbing